Hey guys, it's Melanie and uh, Penny. <laughs> Penny's a little bored already. Um, we are bringing our weekly home fragrance roundup to you again this lovely Saturday. Um, I'm going to put her down because she's very heavy. Um, I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, I, I have my home fragrance roundup for you guys and that's that's what I'm sharing today. <laughs> Nothing exciting. Um, I do have kind of a fun video for tomorrow that I hope to also get filmed today, but we'll see. Um, I was doing a live chat earlier this week and um, someone had suggested doing like a like top three favorites for um, some of my favorite brands. And so I thought that's a really good idea. So I'm going to try to film that for tomorrow. So maybe top three candles from my top three candle companies. Maybe we'll do that for tomorrow. It's just something kind of different. Um, so yeah. Anyway, Penny is, she is demanding that I hold her right now. And now is not a good time, girlfriend. Let's, let's get into what I burned this week. First off, two candles that I finished. Um, Winter Rose from Bath & Body Works. That's already upstairs in my empties. And I have in my candle crock downstairs in my dining room, the last little bit of my most recent berry waffle cone, which is the most delicious scent ever. <laughs> I feel like that one would go in my top three for Bath & Body Works for sure. So I've got that just finishing up in the crock over there. Um, the uh, the wicks kind of died towards the end, which really surprised me because um, none of my berry waffle cones, the original ones that came in the purple ribbed glass, have ever like futzed out on me in terms of wicks. So, but this one also had really short wicks to start with. So I don't know. Sorry, she's driving me crazy right now. Um, so anyway, that's what I have going in the candle crock. Um, I typically, uh, in the last couple weeks, haven't really used my crocks a whole lot because most of the candles that I've been burning have been burning well. So anyway, my candle crocks have gotten a little bit of a break. If you don't know what a candle crock is, I'm going to link a video down below um, because I have one explaining the whole thing, where to find them, all that jazz. Mm -hmm. All right, um, things I burned, and then we'll get into Scentsy. <laughs> Um, golden guava. Um, I think I only did like one burn with this this week. I'm kind of trying to save the remainder of my golden guava candles because I love burning these in the summer months. Um, it's such a fresh, fruity, it's just fruity goodness for the summertime. The notes on this one read golden guava, pineapple, fresh agave, and sugar cane. This is a very sweet candle. It's not cloying, but it's very sweet. Um, I hope he brings this one back. I am actually curious and hopeful that Harry is going to be able to release some of, some more of his spring and summer scents over the next couple of months. Not that I'm running low on candles quite yet, but um, I definitely am craving some new smells. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, I, I don't know what the releases are going to look like with everything that's happening right now. So to be perfectly honest, I have no idea when the new stuff will be coming. I'm hopeful soon, but I mean, who knows, you know, when all of this stuff is coming in, when QVC is going to be able to receive it, when Ulta is going to be able to receive new product. I don't know, but anyway. Um... Uh, by the way, burning behind me here is a Bath & Body Works strawberry pound cake. Really, really delightful and delicious. Um, and uh, here we have another uh, Homeworks candle. This is Bordeaux Fig and Wild Raspberry. I'm actually almost done with this one. I think I have one more burn left tonight. I'm going to, I'll probably finish this tonight. I have to be honest, this is not my favorite scent from Harry that he's ever done. This is Bordeaux Fig, Wild Raspberry, White Woods, and Vertiver. Um, vetiver, sorry. I think this one is just a little too, I don't know. Like it's fruity, but it's also kind of manly in a weird way. Um, luckily this one does not have a super strong strength or throw to it. So it's been nice just mostly for the ambiance. Um, honestly, I just kind of wanted to finish this one up. So 
that's why I'm burning it. Um, but yeah, not my favorite scent that he's ever done. Um, ooh, I love this one. Bath and Body Works blueberry pie. Um, I've been burning this in my office, which is the room behind me here. It's so good, you guys. Um, I also think this is definitely in my top Bath and Body Works candles for sure. Might have to be more than top three because it's going to be hard. Be really hard. Um, Pink Petal Tea Cake, the original, the OG. Still burning it very sparingly. <laughs> Literally only like a couple hours at a time. Um, it's just so beautiful. And the, I've said this uh, the last few weeks that I've shown this, that... The uh, replacements or the repackages, there we go, of this particular scent were just not as good as this original. So, I don't know. I'm trying to savor it, but at the same time, this is from 2014. It's time that I use it up. So, I am trying to enjoy that. Um, I also opened a sugared beignet from Homeworks. Um, I'm holding this one very carefully because I actually just blew this out not too long ago. So... The reason that I busted this out is because I do still have the Homeworks Hot Cider Donut, but because there's no new candles coming out right now, I'm really kind of savoring and saving that Hot Cider Donut. And this is pretty similar. It's not exact, but it's similar enough. It's that kind of like sugary, sweet, fried dough type scent um, that is just so comforting and homey right now and i'm just craving those types of scents so anyway um busted this out and i love it it's so good um the burn on this one is good for like the vast majority of the candle but i will admit that towards the end um it got a little the wax got a little dark and um it didn't quite smell as good for like the last i would say two burns um but it's still enjoyable, but not as good as like the first part of the candle. So uh, I think there could definitely be some room for formulation improvement with this particular scent, but the, the scent overall is amazing. Um, it's just the performance towards the end. Also, I have been continuing to burn the um, rose petals as well. I did an in-depth review of this, so I've got that here in my... Um, fancy lady living room. I like to actually burn the rose petals with the um, strawberry pound cake. That's a really yummy combination together. It's that whole like pink petal tea cake kind of vibe where you've got the floral mixed with the really nice bakery note. Really nice. Um, let's do some Scentsy. Okay, first in my bathrooms has been aloe water and cucumber, which is lovely. Um, this is a staple, I feel like. It's just the most fresh, clean, um, delicious scent for like the warmer weather months. We don't have warmer weather here quite yet, but I'm kind of wishing it into existence at this point. Um, normally, you guys, I have to admit, I am not a summer person at all. This is the first time that I can remember in my entire life that I've actually looked forward to the summer. Um, I think I'm just craving being outside after being stuck indoors for so long. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for some warm weather. I'm ready to go out into the yard and start. We have a huge landscaping project that we're gonna be doing in our yard this year. I'm just ready to go out and start digging in the dirt and digging up old stuff and putting in new plants and just being outside. <laughs> I just really wanna be outside right now. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, I went through quite a few bars this week of Scentsy. I have multiple warmers around my house, um, and admittedly, I've been changing out my wax a little bit more frequently than I even need to. Um, with my Scentsy, normally most of my wax melts, I can get about four, I would say on average four to five days, depending on the scent, and that's leaving the warmers on for about between six and eight hours, so just during the day. Um, some scents only last about three days. Some scents last as long as five days. So, but I will say just over this last week, I've been changing my wax out like every two to three days. I, I think a lot of it has to do with becoming nose blind, um, just being home all the time, and then just wanting like really strong, like, heavy scents. 
<laughs> so anyway, rainbow sherbet, delightful. I love this one. You guys, if you haven't tried this, this is new for the spring and summer. It basically is, it's like a mix between Kool-Aid, like a cherry Kool-Aid and a cotton candy, like a blue, blue raspberry cotton candy. That's what this smells like to me. It's very, um, uh, it's very interesting for a sweet scent. Um, it is, I could see some people finding this cloying though because it's very sweet. And it also has almost like a little bit of like a soury tang to it. Um, like, you know that feeling that you get in your mouth when you eat like a Sour Patch Kid? You get that same kind of like mm, type of feeling in your mouth. Honestly, my mouth is watering smelling this because it just smells so much like candy things. <laughs> Sour, tart candy things. Um, speaking of uh, candy things, here's Candy Dandy. So this one is, this is very interesting. It is a very light scent. Um, I will say I'm a little bit disappointed in the strength of this one. The, the scent itself is really nice, but it's just not very strong. Um, and I find myself putting this in areas where, it, you know, it's a little bit more enclosed, like a bedroom type of thing. This gets lost in my kitchen. This gets lost in this whole like front entryway area here. Like I had put some in these warmers in here and I really couldn't smell it very much at all. But this did okay in my bedroom. So yeah, this is, it's interesting. It's sweet, but it's not super sweet. It's just so light. But again, it's like, it's a, it's a mix of a candy with maybe a little bit of like, I don't want to say a cookie note, but there's like a, like a vanilla creaminess to this that sort of takes away the sweetness of the candy, candy type note in here. It's very, and I feel like you'd have to smell this one. I'm having a hard time explaining it, but I mean, it's nice. Um, I love this. This is so good. I had no idea that this was going to be as incredible as it was. Uh, very bright. Oh, blue raspberry. Blue raspberry cotton candy. That is what this is. It's so good, you guys. Uh, this, this I need backups of. I do. I, I don't want to be without this. I could actually see myself putting this in my club. In fact, I think I'm going to because that is amazing. I love that. Strawberry champagne truffle. I really like this one. This is very pretty. Um, this is a softer strawberry scent. There's definitely, um, like again, like a vanilla creaminess to this. The strawberry is just very soft. Like, it's definitely there. I I don't think there's anything truffle about this. And I don't really get, like, a champagne effervescence from this. This is more of, like, a strawberry cream type scent to me, if that makes sense. Like, strawberries that you mix maybe with some whipped cream with a healthy dose of, like, vanilla extract splashed into the cream part. That's what this smells like to me. It's nice. I could see myself actually repurchasing a couple more of these for the summertime to be able to enjoy. Um, it's not club worthy, but it's worthy of having like a few more bars of for sure. Okay. And then the last one, <laughs> I was actually kind of surprised. I like this one because I didn't expect to. This is the Disney Mulan, Not Your Everyday Dragon. Stella and I really actually enjoyed this one. It's interesting because this is a mix of like a, like a fruity mixed with almost like a spa type scent. It's so interesting. It's hard to pick up like individual notes. There's definitely some citrus in here to my nose, like a blood orange almost. And then Almost a similar note to the aloe and cucumber. Yeah, it's like, it's like they took a really light version of this and mixed it with like a blood orange almost. 
it sounds weird. It doesn't sound like it would be good, but I'm telling you, both Stella and I really enjoyed this one. And we really liked it a lot. So um, I think this one is worth trying out a bara for sure. Um, it's funny is I, I never really liked Mulan. This was like the one Disney movie that I was like, I'm not into this at all. <laughs> and most of the Disney movies I can get behind, but Mulan was not my favorite. Um, but yeah, so that's, you guys, that was it for this week. That was what I was burning slosh melting. Um, what were you using this week in terms of home fragrance? Also, let me know how you are faring. <laughs> on house arrest. <laughs> um, we are still, we're doing okay. Um, my daughter is, so she's eight. She is handling this so much better than I ever thought that she would. I really thought she was going to go crazy and that she was going to drive Craig and I absolutely bananas, but she's doing such a good job. Like she's always, you know, she's like, it's okay that we can't go anywhere. You know, like when it's sunny, we'll go for a walk, but we don't have to go for walks when it's rainy. Like she doesn't even really, I think she understands that like being here is very important and to like, you know, stay in our house is what we need to be doing right now. But um, I'm just so impressed because I've heard a lot of parents who are like, I, I don't know how I'm going to last much longer, but she's made it surprisingly easy. So I hope that your kids <laughs> are not driving you crazy yet if you have them. Um, anyway. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay sane. <laughs> and I will see if I can get that video done for tomorrow with my favorites. So, all right. Thanks a lot, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.